us through what it's been like to be back on the field, start working 11 on 11, and really been able to go full speed out there? Uh, it's been great. Um, it's been a long time since I've been able to touch that field and you know really work with my guys. Um, and you know I, I, I planned on coming in fall camp and really going and starting off right, but uh, I didn't feel 100, 100% quite then, and so that's why they kind of were cautious with me. Um, but you know I feel really good, and um, you know Okie State in about a week, and so I really need to get out here and, and start working and getting some reps in and make sure I'm ready to go next week. After your kind of long absence, is it kind of starting to itch at you a little bit to get back on the field and, you know, more so than just like the special teams capacity you were last season? Oh, yeah, definitely. I think that also I, I, I kind of need to get comfortable with being on that field again. Um, like, I mean, I, they, they did some math of how long I was out, and it was about 18 months I didn't play defense or whatnot, and it's actually longer than that um, since I missed some of the fall camp. Uh, so, yeah, it, it's I've been really itching to get back on that field, and, and like I said, it, just, it was kind of – for me, it was I kind of need to rapidly get out there just because, like I said, the season's coming up, and I did need to get out there and get comfortable with you know just being on that field again and playing defense and calling those calls and you know and doing what I can do out there. Does it feel like everything at this point is 100%? Was it just a hamstring? Yeah, it was just a hamstring. It was actually my other hamstring. I think that you know from all the you know overworking or not using my left hamstring, which I initially hurt, and really using my right one for a long period of time, kind of messed it up when my left one got healed, and then my right one kind of was like, all right, let's relax, and then it kind of got busted up a little. So yeah, it was just my right hamstring that was giving me a little bit of problem, and it wasn't like horrible. I felt like I probably could have gone um, right when fall camp started, but you know, I, I'd rather have been safe than sorry because I don't want to restrain it or redo anything and, and prolong my um, my healing. So that's why I kind of took that first week off. But it feels like all that has subsided now. Yeah, I mean, for the most part, I'm still in the training room. I'm still, you know, getting work on it every every single day. So, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to get back into that phase again. So, yeah. After last season, is there kind of any bit of caution that you play with or you had to play with kind of when you came back? And is that starting to kind of go away now? Are you still kind of like... When you step on your foot or you step on or just take that hamstring strain or whatever <laughs> yeah actually uh so when when i the very first practice i came back for fall camp and i ran through indies i ran through you know seven on seven and eleven on eleven um i uh I, I, I was kind of realizing I wasn't really planting off my foot like you were saying. Um, I was a little timid to, you know, really push off. Um, but as pr practices have progressed, I've gotten more and more comfortable, um, and I've been able to, you know, plant off, you know, t twist, turn, jump, do do everything I really would need to do on that football field. How much has that kind of been a credit to Coach Mack and his staff for helping getting you back to 100% and you know getting to where you are now? Uh, I mean, shoot, all the credit goes to them and the training staff. Um, I've been in the training room, you know, every single day. Like I said, I've been with those guys, you know, every single day too you know, getting any soft tissue work I need, um, kind of even just working out when I wasn't out here doing anything for fall camp and trying to maintain my conditioning and endurance and stuff like that. So, you know, it, it's credit to all those guys, and I, I'm really thankful for, you know, the people I've been surrounded with and, and helping me, you know, continue my the, the progress of my, you know, healing and stuff like that.